Well, hey there, good morning, Proniacs, and happy Friday, the second Friday of September. And September for me, if I were to describe it in one word, would be disappointing. There has been some serious turbulence, some frustrations, Things that are out of my control as far as the environment, things that I've caused with my relationships that have just been very destructive to me mentally, physically, emotionally lately. Uh, yesterday I was going through my Jack Canfield coaching class, which helps out a lot, but got disrupted by another unoccupied, or unauthorized occupant over at one of our apartment complexes in Pasco. There was a call in from the neighbor below that said somebody was in one of our vacant units. So I run out there as they did uh, the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, they had to pull a guy out of there, a big dude, 5'10", probably 260 pounds, and arrest him and take him off the property, but they couldn't book him, even with a felony warrant, because of our current state, our current situation, which is terrible if you ask me, that we just have felony warrants walking around, especially around one of the apartment complexes that I manage. And this guy was able to get in. I think it was through a window because the window was open. He was stating because it was, the door was open, which that was untrue. So we took care of that issue, but that happened again yesterday afternoon when I was going through a process of bettering myself and feeling good about growing and spending time on me because I know and I hear that the more that you can spend time on yourself or others, you can present yourself and help and service others in a better manner. So that's what I strive to do and be. And it's also exciting to work on yourself and have a passion for growing who you are to be a better person a better version of you to be that a strive for that best version of you that you have in your mind and thinking that you know I'm kind I'm I'm excited I'm providing a lot of excitement for others sorry I'm getting a phone call which is unfortunate and and just bringing that level of frequency to others but you have to first have it in yourself you can't fill another person's cup with an empty glass or a half full glass because then it leaves you drained you have to be overfilling in order to fill somebody else up and when you're not emotionally physically and mentally overflowing and you don't take the time to work on yourself and you're just drained and exhausted and and beat down it's uh it's tough to perform for others and that's what we need to strive to do is, is make sure that in the moment when you're aware, like I am now, that you are just struggling through the month of September for whatever reason it may be, that it is going to be for your benefit. I mean, I know that when I go through these really tough times that on the other end of it, I learn something that I can continue to plug into my life that will expand in greater opportunities. So the greater opportunities are just around the corner. I hope they come sooner than later. But last time I had a conversation like this with you guys, there were some terrible things that happened throughout the day. So let's hope for the best and that not to happen. That's not the expectation. The expectation is that things will start to get better and we'll work through, these, through, the, through those as they come. So I wanna let you know that I care about you and I want you to fill your cup so that you can service and fill others that are not full themselves. Surround yourself with others that are cup fillers as well so that you guys can grow and learn and collaborate together. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and I hope that you know that I care about you. Thank you for joining me today and have a great weekend.